right, hey everybody, today the tip we're doing for barbell lunge, one of the, I think, complete leg movements that you can do to really target your glute, hamstring, quad, um, hips. Um, it's one of those movements that I feel help bring out the best complete leg development for when you're on stage. You know, tying everything together, um, you know, you want to have that really solid glute tie-in, you want to have a complete, you know, um, quad where you have a good leg sweep, you know, your inner quad. Um, it's just one of the, for me, I feel the, anytime I do them, I get sore. I, I know that it's not necessarily an effective uh, measurement for when you have an effective workout, but anytime you feel sore, you feel like something worked for you and uh, you broke the muscle down enough that your, your body's recovering. Um, so with the lunges, there's a lot of different ways you can do lunges. You could go real wide steps, kind of go side to side. Um, you can do fixed position where you, you just, you, you get in like a, a rack. You know, like a squat rack, you, you the lunge out, you come back. There's things for, you know, if you have enough room in the gym or you can go outside of your gym, you grab a bar, throw it on your back. And what I like to do and just like to walk with it, kind of like Ronnie Coleman style that you see in a lot of his old school videos. That's, that's where I've always been inspired is seeing him at the old Metroflex where, I mean, he'd be outside in 100 degree heat walking with, you know, 185 pounds in the back. And um, that's, to me, that's always been one of the, the bread and butter when it comes to the ultimate leg development. Um, for me, you know, um, you see a lot of, when I first was taught lunges, it was like, you know, have your knee touch the ground and all that. Um, you know, I don't slam my knee on the ground when I, when I walk in with it. I kind of, I find the position where I start feeling a good stretch. I feel there's tension on it and then I come up. Um, and then I don't go super long on my steps. I go, I'm not super short either. I kind of go in that in between to where it's almost like a natural step for me. So by not taking my knee over my toes, it's reducing the, the amount of pressure or tension on my knee and, re, again, risking, reducing the risk of injury and uh, ultimately putting more stress on my quads and glutes. That's, that's the ultimate key to this movement. Um, and then when I do rep ranges on this, I'm pretty much between 8 and 12 with each leg. So there's times where I'll take between like 16 and 26 uh, steps, 28 steps, um, you know, 30 steps just depending on how much room you have to work with. And, you know, I'll, I'll walk down and then walk back or, you know, vice versa. And that just really helps me um, build what I feel is the ultimate development for your legs when it comes to just tying everything in, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. given us another option to, yeah, like you said, we have the supplements, we have smoothie bar, but it's now given us another option to, to almost kind of get in the game with Fun Ruckers and, and the pizza place and the Chinese food down the street. Now to give people another option, um, they can come in at lunch, get a, get a healthy option for, for lunch. And yeah, to be able to come in and say, hey, I, I took a healthy lasagna home, ate it. Yeah, people are very interested in going to go to their website and check out the icon. Here.